And she's uh, just about to start the game. So she's getting ready <coughs> for the 11th game of today. And now we're starting really fast forward from nice Aggie University. Um, passing to the surface, going down, and they're now really strong. Passing under the defender to Ooh, the close side to the corner. The shoulder is deep yeah, in the basket here. The basket. From the, and we see the sign already uh, from the referee. This is going to be a penalty if they don't succeed. Yeah, succeeded, so it's not a penalty, but the shoulder was deep in the basket. And you saw the sign from the referee, the raised hand. Yes. That means uh, it's uh, uh, if this would not have been a goal, it would have been a penalty. Yes. So, so that's first goal in first minute from a university. Strong opening, like you said, yep. Annika. Uh, very well, nice. Uh, the uh, the first swimmer who reached the ball was pushing it up into the hands of a player, and they were already at, at the, the basket. French basket. Yeah, and now they're interfering the checking forward of the French team. Um, I think we don't quite go to the basket. Anaïs is defending. Um, Berkan got hints of the ball and now passing to the middle field, trying to get to the. Uh, French basket he lost the ball and now we're in at the basket one against one Turks play against mm. and that's a goal that was one against one there was no defender and no attacker it's the the, the simple truth is if you uh, in in the case of uh, the uh, French team, if you let the Turkish players through, and big Turkish players like Hakan, if you let them through to your basket alone, one-on-one -on -one, uh, for sure, uh, with the experience yes. they have, they will succeed. So uh, Nice started. pass, but over the head of the player. Yes. So because, okay, they lost again the ball, two players. <laughs> the defender was there, uh, quite a second too late, and then uh, the goalie was missing, so it was another goal by the university. University is also playing uh, Euroleague, um, if I'm not wrong, and they're uh, getting quite some experience. So we have a nice start again at the surface. They're swimming, like they start swimming really far off, like the two people who guide the, the, the ball possession player are really far away. So now we have also a ball loss from Frogs and uh, Egger got catch of the ball trying to... They're now at the basket again and now we have a still stand on one of the cameras which we had before in the game of Mars. Um Maybe the water is froze. The water freeze. Maybe the water froze. <laughs> no, both back. Um, yeah, maybe the water froze. They say hell freezes over so why shouldn't the pool on the side didn't freeze over? Oh, that's a nice Ooh. dead still pick. Frozen too. Yeah. Um, now we have an attack from Bordeaux trying to to hold the ball, but he was alone. There was now there is company, but now Takan has the ball, trying to attack. Really and nice, oh. but the uh, the goalie <coughs> wanted to get grip of the ball, loss of the ball, but now they recovered it. Number 22. Well defended. I wouldn't have thought uh, they, they can sustain uh, this attack. But now it looks it's a hard push. But she gets crept away from the basket. There was a scrum. And there oh, was a penalty. penalty. So that was, I think it was again shoulder in the basket. You couldn't quite clearly really see what, what happened. Uh, penalty player dark. Player dark. Um, so maybe it was the situation we had before, happened again, shoulder in the basket, uh, when it doesn't succeed to a goal, it goes right into a penalty, because it's not allowed in underwater rugby to uh, hold with the hand on the ball or put your shoulder in the basket. So and uh, this, I, I'd say with a 100% uh, uh, safety for the Turkish player here succeeding in scoring, uh, but let's see, you can always be surprised uh, by, uh, yeah. by newcomers. So Kay. they're trying the f coming from above, he's Number lying underneath, one. and that's in, that's, uh, a, that's goal. a goal. But uh, I really have to say I'm impressed by the performance of the frogs here. 
Yes. They, they, uh, you see they are lacking the experience and uh, the, the confidence probably in the water mm -hmm. against a very experienced and very confident yeah. team like the Turkish, but uh, it's like they are not impressed. And this is the important thing in, in the water rugby. You do whatever you can and this is the best you do in that moment and uh, you, you earn your respect in yes, the game. Totally. So we now have another attack in the midfield. Ball possession of Egger. Egger on the water rugby. Um, Egger University. Um, Laurent, the one with one arm and one leg, is uh, defending and he's a really good player. And you see as well he's playing with a uh, fiber class fin and he's trying to catch the ball. He just drops it out to one of the other players. But uh, the other defender couldn't leave the basket, so now the goalie is struggling and there was a goal from the close side. Which you can't, we, we couldn't see who of Egger did the goal, but it was like... And now some of the frogs dropped the ball that caused to go down and ha and then bring it up. Anais recovered the ball. And we have four minutes left in the first half. So... So we start again. Um, they lost the ball from behind. I don't know what happened. Uh, Khan from Egger recovers the ball, passes it to the close side, stays at the open side, um, switch to another player. They're playing around the basket, trying to, to build a block to block the defender. Um, now they're playing from the close corner and they're coming in as waves around. And you see the self-confidence of yes. the Turkish players, how they play. There was no goalkeeper now on the basket. And the seconds they see is they push into the defense perimeter of uh, the Swiss, but don't succeed in this way. And this is a, a good sign always if the first wave doesn't succeed. That's always you have the, at least uh, uh, the experienced players here defending. And this was already the shoulder at the end of the basket. But now they're no trying call. to go fast forward. Swimming right into an egg Front player. Ball possession. Trying to get through this scrum at the surface in midfield a little bit to the egg basket. But there's nobody lying underneath in case the ball drops. Now they're coming and lying underneath in the scrum and trying to get the ball. Now Egg is in ball possession, the ball dropped, swimming into the defense from, but they're passing really through, that's one on one. They just move the goalie, the goalie gets back on the goal. Oh nice, behind the back and yeah. uh, now again uh, an attack from the open side, the players looking for a teammate to pass to, but there is none of the Turkish players around uh, the French basket. Nicely defended here by the French ball is loose again in Turkish hands, back and forth. And now we have a Turkish player from the open side on the head, but he passed to the player waiting on the close That's side. Nice. He tries to push in, but didn't succeed. Um, well defended. Nicely done. And they're still holding on. Uh, France is still holding on to the basket. Bordeaux does a good job here. And I guess uh, uh, maybe Ege is pulling out a little bit here uh, mm. with the pressure because they are already leading a 6-0 zero, a zero yeah. against Now then the middle field France. struggling again. France has the ball but one of the Jäger players grabs him from behind trying to snitch the ball away from him uh, which succeeded and now they have a fast attack on the goal. It's Anais on the goalkeeper as goalkeeper and they Pass right into the defense. That was a try to, to play it cool, mm, that but... Was, did you saw that? It was like Anna is the goalkeeper just had the ball and I could, could give it to another team player of hers. And now there's no goalie. No mm, defense, nicely. no defense Fast. and that's a goal. Sure. That was the, the fast game around uh, the, against the defense was very well done because if you play back and forth with the ball so the defense doesn't know where the ball is and then you have the opening uh, because the goalkeeper uh, doesn't uh, know which way he, can, he should defend. So uh, very well done here uh, by both teams were well defended by Bordeaux and the attack 
that finally led to the score was uh, done graciously here by the Turkish team. Yeah, it's a nice fourth and back of both teams, so they're not playing either long on one side, they're just going really to the midfield and to one side and then to the other. Right now we are at Ege, there was a call, and that's halftime. So we are here at halftime uh, against the 11th match of um, Ege against uh, Frogs from Bordeaux. Um, it's a the eleventh, not the eleventh match of AG, but of the day. Of the day, sorry, yeah, of the day. <laughs> yeah, I did the eleventh match of AG, right? Um, it's a quite tense game. They're defending really good and attacking also. So we have like, as I said before, um, a nice try not to stay on one side too long, so they can break free with the ball. They get hold of the ball. And it's always interesting to see new teams, and I'm sure yes. they have experienced players in their teams, but it's always interesting to see new teams, and uh, their learning curve in, uh, in, in tournaments like this is really high, so uh, um, the experience they get out of these tournaments is huge for them. We saw yes. a lot of teams um, starting at the Champions Cup, they're coming from year to year, and they improved and improved, and the best example is the uh, ruling Champions Cup champion uh, Colombia and World Champion Colombia. Uh, I remember we were have training uh, games with them against my team when they came to the Champions Cup, and they are ruling the world of uh, water rugby. So yes. it's it's just you learn and you improve and you go for it. So France uh, could be the next world champion. Maybe you never know. They are trying really hard. We trained with a team in Nizza, which I think currently isn't training. Um, and in Bordeaux we always there for Bordeaux Cup and play against them and they really improved. Yeah, and it's uh, <coughs> with, with teams coming to uh, tournaments like the Champions Cup, they put their knowledge and their skills out there to show what they can do. And it always takes a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, you know, have to have a certain confidence to join the Champions Cup and also the will to improve because yes. you know you will lose games and you know you will play against the top game teams of the world, but you learn. Yes. And this is what you take That's, away from it. Yeah, you learn, you have a pool that has rugby um, dimensions, because we have some teams who can't play in a, in a rugby dimensional pool, um, for Barcelona example, um, but here you get quite the experience also to test yourself, because France has not so many clubs to, to compete against, so they, so they try, um, like here they have the opportunity to, to improve themselves by playing against teams who are stronger, who are more experienced, um, so they can try defense, they can try to attack, um, so it's a really... But, well, we, we have a, a question here in the live stream chat from uh, uh, Banash, uh, if the sound is weird only for me, can you uh, people in the live stream chat please give us a feedback? Uh, how the sound is. There is definitely a sound has been bad for me, but it's okay now. Not great, but okay. Uh, is it possible to see public scores for the, of the players? Didn't get that. Okay. We will uh, relay uh, the uh, what you wrote in the live stream chat uh, to the team. And probably we turn down a little bit our uh, uh, um, the volume, so maybe they're they're not so high. Sound like metallic, yep. Yeah, because me and uh, 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 we, we are uh, robots, yes. that's, that's why we sound probably metallic. But we, sorry, no, well, mm -hmm. indeed that was a joke. So, yeah. But uh, we will uh, talk to the uh, technicians and tell them if they can work. So the game the starts really fast, beginning from Ege, passing, um, not, not, not everybody went down, so the fastest players went down, uh, brought the ball um, much forward, passing it over, and now they're really fast the ball, but it was shoulder in the basket again, and that's a penalty for Ege again. So. Well, it's it's sometimes really the only chance you have uh, to 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 risk to yes. go uh, for even if you don't do it uh, uh, intentionally, but yes. it's it's a way uh, you just try to fend off, and if you pushed hard, it could happen. If, well, so that's the second penalty for the for the game. We have number twenty-two of uh, frog of frogs um, defending that 
number 12. And the There's player from Turkey is not coming down, he's waiting on the service number 99. He tries to Comes from come from above, trying to... Didn't succeed in this Ooh. first run, and now the and now French ball play. Ah, the oh, he's oh, passing he's in the no, open, no, no, no. is going down again. Nicely done by the French yes, player. Um, he, he almost made it up to the service, but he was not controlling the ball. And there's a call from the referee, it looks like. So, we don't hear the horn. Seems to be... It was a goal. Oh, there's something loose on the basket, so they're trying to well, that's be just adjusted. Yeah, it was a goal ball is placed back uh, in the middle of the pool. No, it's not. So we have some referees uh, watching us from the window. Um, and no, it was no goal. Yeah, it was no goal. No goal. Okay, yeah, that may be because the goal was two meters away from the circle he has to be around the basket, but he was in possession. We don't know. Ah, uh, that was a goal. That was a fast goal from Aga University. Does it count? Yeah, that yeah, seems to be. Count. That was a fast, fast attack from Aga. And has like seven and a half minutes left in the second half. And Bodo is starting, they're passing down, and on the swing right into Egger, which got possessed of the ball, trying to go to the corner. Um, the defense is there from Frox, passing, trying to do a blind pass, um, taking a pass and then passing to the other side. Now in the middle they're like really managing and have the confidence to, to take their time around the basket of the French team. Turkey doesn't have to hurry up here. They're leading with the 8-0 in uh, Turkey in blue and uh, the French in white. And uh, Turkey really can uh, wait for their chances. Like uh, the number one here on the open side, he uh, is just waiting till uh, his teammate is bringing the ball. Like in this situation, yes, yes exactly. There and he was, was staying down right? here. I, I don't think so. No? He looked like yep. the top. But it was not Hakan, I think. No, but he used the technique uh, to, to to get his strength from the ball, hit both hands on the ball and then pushed it inside. So, fast uh, counter-attack, fast start uh, by the frogs uh, from France. They try to push into the field area of uh, uh, Turkey. Ball is snatched away, the pass was snatched away out of the water, out of the hands. And, uh, oh, here's a chance here's for chance. the frog. Almost he made it uh, by pushing the ball out of the hand of a Turkish player. And he almost made it to the empty basket, but was stopped. And now the ball is, I think, back in Turkish possession. Yes, and they're trying to get out of the corner, passing. But the frogs are there, trying to get hold of the ball. But now we have a fast counter-attack by number 99 um, against Anais. She's, but she, she managed to get from four to the basket and now the defense is already there with defender goalie um, they snatched away the defense trying to get rid and there's a scrum right above well defended here by uh, France and they managed to fend off the first wave but this is the second wave going in and you saw the player was just under the goalkeeper and the defender pushing them up and then uh, with a decisive move pushing the ball into the basket and that was unstoppable from the open side where well done and we have a 10-0 lead here now by Ege University from Turkey in this game number 11 of the 31st uh, Champions Cup in Berlin so we back at an attack from frogs from France and they really really want to to attack to improve I think the halftime did them some good, so we like five minutes down. Um, but Turkey are really back at against the players. So the defense is there, but the ball goes back to Egger. They're trying to come off the open side, switching to the close side, trying to to snatch away the goalie. The Turkish team is definitely the dominating team here in the water, but uh, they do uh, 
France does a very good job uh, holding on to their positions and they don't make it easy for the Turkish players um, and sometimes they have to go in the, the second and third wave to score uh, but uh, the pressure on the uh, France French uh, defense is quite high and you see how like here they have a block installed and uh, the player comes from uh, the open side so this is very uh, uh, there's a routine in it uh, from the Turkish player yes. to score here they they are not mm -hmm this disturbed by um, the French players. But nevertheless, um, as a newcomer here at the Champions Cup... Oh, that's a penalty! No, okay. that's a timeout. Timeout, yeah. Was probably the wrong button. Maybe. Well, it's a timeout. But it's not counting right now. They are missed. The one minute. So the referee got hold of it and now it's a timeout for white team. They're trying to catch some air and move on. We saw we saw games at the World Championships which ended 30-0 and so that's why just for people who don't know on the rock, water rugby so much that's 11-0 is in this constellation a good game so Frox is defending really well, they're attacking um, they're trying to get into their game um, but Egg is really dominating this game. They also have a lot of players with with some more mass on it and really fast and you see here some of the um, frog players are very thin and long. That's also a good thing. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, you can be like very fast, you can be very agile. But, um, and you maybe have long hands to snatch away a ball which the short person couldn't reach. But in a, in a situation with an, uh, yes. where you have to fend off the attack with uh, players, you're uh, double mm -hmm. your own mass. Yes, it's that's the very point. difficult to hold on and uh, to sustain more than one attack wave. So uh, yeah, Bordeaux does uh, the Frogs do a pretty good job here, and uh, they they are not impressed by the game by the Turkish. They tr still try to break through here. Even um, one of the Bordeaux players still steals the basket away from uh, the Turkish player, but uh, they don't even care because the ball was already in their possession. So we have. Three players from Ege around the basket, one of the open side, one the close side, one in the middle, and trying to really get into there and um, score another goal. Um, the forward is there, number 13, I think he's the forward. He tries to interfere the passes um, to catch away the ball. It didn't succeed, now the ball is on the closed side, but number 6 passing to number 15, but number 15 passes back to the closed side. And there's a lot of action around the basket of Bordeaux. You could say so, and, and Bordeaux is very well defending, and they always interfere in the last second, but here again number 1 is waiting on the open side, passed the ball behind his back, and in his own hands again, was was quite impressive what he did here. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> very, like, very funny move. Lost, I thought there was somebody that wasn't, so you had catch yeah. on the ball again. Uh, this is again the move behind yeah, the back. Behind the back. It looks um, like they, that's their routine also to uh, go yeah, in front of the basket and, and score. Good, yeah. They always have, have one player on the open side, one on the close side and one in the middle, so I think that's passing over the back, they know there should be somebody, so... Yeah, well, it, but blind passes are always, uh, you can not do in a game where you have uh, equal strength and yes. equal experience. So Ege is uh, using their uh, dominance in the pool here to play a cool game, but uh, normally, uh, for example, against uh, Colombia or Mal, she couldn't do that. No, that wouldn't be possible, they know. They have to reset. And there are the, again, mm, nice in the, in the field field. by the Fox again. In the middle of the pool, but the the dominance here we have three two against players. one, and that's definitely a goal from number two from Mega University. Number two is Onu. Nicely done. So 45 seconds left uh, in the second half, and uh, congratulations to the Frogs. Uh, even if you see the 13-0, um, they did a good game. And they fought hard, and uh, they learned again. And nicely done, breaking through, lost the ball, too easily hold, too easy to catch, uh, to push out of the hands. And uh, Turkey is in ball possession, going for the French basket again. The defense is in position, fending off the attack. 
And the ball is lost in the hand of a French player who so swings directly in the hands. So mm, number one into the open, basket. yes, and that's a last goal. I think that's a last goal. Five seconds left, so we have running time in this um, Champions Cup. So now time's over. 14-0 uh, for this game. And we are uh, now uh, going to game number 12, which is uh, Amager, Denmark from Copenhagen against Connecticut Marcos from the USA. And uh, the time now is uh, 5.30, so we are all, all uh, we are all, in reality, we are before our schedule, six minutes before our schedule, which is pretty good. Uh, it is, uh, we plan to have the last game for today at uh, 8.30. Okay, I'm back. Who are you? <laughs> Why haven't I seen you before in my life? <laughs> I, I think I should know you. Yes, so we, need, we need to read the, 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 the numbers and the names. People interested in who is playing in Northern Norway, a love story, I believe. You're sure? This is like a like Zell Okay, <laughs> let's watch. <laughs> we said yesterday in the Academy, we have to do more entertainment. Um, yeah. I think we need to define what is entertainment. Let's see. So who's playing next? Uh, it's Amago from Copenhagen, yeah. Denmark against uh, Connecticut Marcos from the USA. So Amago, um, I guess of Amago made last year the third position yes, with seven with players. Eight, eight. I think it was eight two. No, it was seven. Seven. I think we got one got like yeah. Intro. So last really year was an amazing uh, performance by Amager. Uh, they lost the first game against the um, Orcas um, from Colombia. No, New York and Castores. That's the year Castores. Castores yeah. are not here in the game. They lost the first game against. Ah, today you mean? Okay, this competition. Yeah. Okay. We are not communicating. We said yesterday it's very important to communicate in the commentary. We are not communicating. Okay. Let me read these eight players for Amager. And so we this have is a, Denmark. A, a, someone in the live stream said, uh, Rodriguez, the sound is bad now. I'm going to talk to the uh, technicians if they change anything. Be back okay, in a second. Well, Thank I will you. be reading the name. So we have uh, Amaga players. Uh, number two, um, Pernille Linert Jensen. Number six, May Lindberg Hansen. 11, Marianne Haidam. 25, Joanne Preseveve Wegeberg. 88, Tina Idasen, 90, Laila List, 95, Mille uh, Rutfeld, 96, Christine Lundius. And uh, they are playing against Marcos. Marcos played earlier today as well. And if I remember correct, they lost by penalties against uh, Elvetia, the Swiss, the Swiss girls. So let me go and find the list of Marcos and hmm. ah here so one Laura Sofia Bedoya two Maria Jose Abril four Isabela Bedoya why I'm saying this I said four, Isabella Bedoya, I see Spanish, I think. Six, Samantha Hernandez, eight, Daniela Bedoya, 13, Natasha Samaniego, 20, Elena Prieto, 24, Alejandra Carmona, 28, Mabel Rivadeneira, Domin, 32, Marilyn Cardenas, 37, Giovanna Reynoso, 16, Ashley Granda. Okay, so, did you pass the message, Paul, what's back? Yes, I told uh, the technicians the sound is bad. Is it better now? And uh, Julia said uh, no. Um, okay, so is the sound for everyone from the audio is uh, bad right now. Please give us a little bit of feedback. Uh, better but metallic. Okay, I will this re relay this to the technicians. Thank you. Okay, so do we have people from Denmark and from the U.S. here cheering up for their home teams? 
What time is in the U.S. now? It should be about, well, depending on which coast you are and where you are, but uh, at least uh, five, six, even eight hours earlier. So I think that's better timing than for the Australian right now, than in the middle of the night. Um, and, uh, okay, Denmark is just next door, so anyone from Denmark for Amiga? These girls are defending the third place. We had uh, people watching from Copenhagen and New York uh, giving us feedback uh, for the live stream. And I told the technicians again, uh, please check the sound, so they look into it. Uh, the sound has crackling from uh, Davrel. Davrel, how are you? Um, cracking. Okay, yeah, we told the technicians we had difficulties with the sound from the beginning. Um, so keep us posted because uh, the team, uh, the technicians will try to uh, readjust uh, the audio. So give us feedback. Um, the moment that it Pop sounds quality. better, please uh, put it uh, in, the, um, in the chat so we know, because otherwise so we don't bother you asking all the time. So they're working right now, and if you see that the, uh, the sound is better, please. So it's uh, uh, 5.30 here in Berlin, and uh, according to our schedule, we start now the next game. Um, so we are uh, very good in the schedule. Um, this is always...